It's starting now. Oh, hey everybody. Yeah. Welcome to the Cafe of Knowledge. Appreciate y'all tuning in today. Thank all our new subscribers and everybody. Appreciate y'all. Y'all really have been supporting us a lot. Um, so, today's topic, y'all, as y'all can see, it says things that make you immediately unattractive. And uh, now they say there are many ways to boost your attractiveness, but it's also a lot of ways to sabotage your attractiveness. So um, it's like 26 of them. So number one, they got dishonesty uh, is a major turnoff. They say uh, that makes you unattractive when you be dishonest. Dishonest. Yeah. So um, then number two. Is uh not having a sense of humor. Yeah, not having a sense of humor. And that is true because I have I have been interested in some people that I talk, you know, trying to get to know and they had no type of sense of humor. And I am a sense of humor type person. I just I just love to say little funny things and yeah. you know that and mm -hmm. then when when you kind of jokey or you just have a funny sense of humor, then they looking at you like they don't get your sense of humor, like that's something you definitely don't want. Somebody yeah. looks at you like you crazy. Yeah, they look at you like you crazy because they don't understand what you just yeah. said yeah. or the humor that you just said. And yeah. I was like, damn, it's just a joke, like, <laughs> and it's not even about them, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's just something that I made, you know, yeah. and they don't get it. So then I said, nah, this ain't for me because I, you know, I can't be serious all the time like that. Yeah, you know, so that that that's true right there. So number three. Is sleep deprivation. Not getting enough sleep. Not getting enough sleep. Get some bags under your eyes. Yeah. And looking like a zombie and shit. Yeah, you don't want yeah. to. Yeah. Make sure you get to sleep. Yeah, and then it's some that'll walk the floor. Like, because they don't sleep, then you can't sleep. And they'll walk the floor all night, come in all time of night, do, and, and they keep the whole house up. And now everybody, you don't even want to be around that person. Like, damn, I wish they sit down. You My know what I'm like saying? That made me nervous. Yeah, That's yeah. what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So that that can do so like you said, if you got bags and stuff under your eyes, that's unattractive. But then if you are the one keeping everybody up, that's also very unattractive. Like after a person spend a night with you or something and why you walking all night, they're like, shit, I ain't going back over there. You know what I'm saying? Because they can't get no sleep. You yeah. know, so yeah. it doing they talking loud and now let like damn you ain't tired. So yeah, that that's 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 a good one right there. Uh, and then, um, the number four is being mean. Yeah, yeah, being yeah. Mean. And then they say that most of your photos look mean. If most of your photos, like people go back and look at your photos, whether it's on social media or whatever, they said that your photos will bring out a persona to people that you are a mean person if you're photos are always like mean just mean just mean and then that make people be like oh, nah, mm, you know what i'm saying yeah. so they they say that can and then when people are just rude they got rude behavior they got rude attitude they just rude and hateful to people that's being mean yeah no nah, you ain't gonna yeah yeah that is unattractive right there that is and then your next one um the power are you, pose. Are you serious? The power pose. They say the, the power, power pose. pose. And, I, I, and, I got that. And y'all, this is, so is, that why this I'm is really what they got in the uh, scientific. That's why they be some scared to It's me. what it is. I don't know. That could be. You got to look at it because this come from, this is it's not, nothing that we made up, y'all. This is and really scientifically. And I don't do it on, they on purpose. Say. I've just been told that. Well, they say this is what it says, that this is things that make you immediately unattractive to some people and that if you have these things you might want to tone it down everything we well, everything we saying you might want to take it and probably try to perfect you know try to perfect it because it's a lot of people that run around here look good very handsome women very nice very fine and wondering why they can't find a good date and or a good Partner. So basically, you intimidate. And anybody. this is something they. Then this is number number five is the power pose, and the power pose is 
that all of a sudden you think you better than everyone else. You remember when I told you, uh, and I told y'all too, back in another video, I said, I push my crown aside when I go into a, a, a party or a club or whatever. But when I see it ain't looking right, I pick my crown back up, put it on, and then I head on. That, because I don't want everybody to think, I think I'm better than them. You see? So that is a, a power pose can because I have seen. I have great confidence and great. I know, confidence. but so, they say power pose is um that you you your your stance is you feel like you better than everybody else. Yeah. And yeah. That pose <laughs> that pose you're standing there like you're more superior yeah. than other people. Yeah. But then the people around you are saying, I don't, I don't think so. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how they, they look at it. Now, I have went inside of like a party or a club or something, and I have seen men who are standing up in, against the wall looking like a bootleg pimp. They just stand there like... like That's like, more like a security guard. No, like but that. no, but they stand there like they think they do shit. But I'm saying to myself... Nah, no, you ain't. <laughs> and then I'm looking somewhere else. You see so what I'm saying? So be humble. So it's something. No, you you can still like they say the power pose. It's just something about that pose that you automatically is letting people know I'm better than y'all. I'm superior than y'all, and uh, I'm only here because I was invited. Really don't want to be here with you, goddamn people. Yeah. Right. And if you <laughs> feel like that, you still don't have to buck up. And females do that too. It's some backyard barbers that will go into a, a, a atmosphere and think they do shit. And you could see it. You could see it. You could say something to them, and they're looking at their answer you, but they're looking at you like, mm, yeah, whatever. That's what they're saying. You don't have to be like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't. You don't have to be like that. Now, if you like that, cool. You know you like that, but you don't have to push it on folks. Mm. That's all it's saying. The power pose. All right. So, yeah. So, that was a good one, though. And then they say, uh, number Lazy, six. Laziness. Laziness. That's unattractive. Instantly unattractive. Number seven is body odor. Yeah. When you smelling bad. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's... that's Common sense, right? Yeah, there. that's... Yeah. But that's, that's unattractive. They tell the truth. And then it says, number eight, heavily smoking and drinking. Doing a little and too much. Too yeah, excessive. you're doing too much excessively, yeah. And then number nine, not being humble. You just said that. You said so we're supposed to be humble. Mm -hmm. It said number nine say not being humble. That's exactly what it is. And then you said <laughs> I'm being real, which I ain't and trying to I ain't even scared. Like, yeah, I got a problem with I just got this great amount of confidence. I can't lie to you. I think truly highly of my goddamn self. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, yeah, I have and a that's, slight that's good. That time, is good. I've been told, but, like, like, I walk around, they be like, you walk like you just don't think you the shit. Like, you well, stand like you just think you the shit. Yeah. I, I be like, I must be. You hear me? Like, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I mean, I don't saying. know. I don't I'm know. Saying, I, but it's, it's good to crazy. have great confidence <laughs> like that. It is. It's good. Ain't nothing. They, they're not knocking that. They just saying when. Other people can see it, and then you have other people where they kind of are afraid to approach you. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what they're saying. Yeah. And then um, number 10 is bad breath and yellow teeth. Woo! You know what I'm saying? And that is a very big turnoff. That is yeah. a very big turnoff. And um, you got number 11, disagree with someone, political, political. preference. I don't get into politics anyway. So, Me either. Yeah, and I that's know. the best I, thing to do. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, let's not even talk about politics. Uh, and, and even if I'm uh, with you or dating you, whatever, hey, you do what you do, I do what I do, you mm -hmm. do how you want to do it. But we ain't got a debate on who is what and yeah. what is not. Uh, you know, do, do you be me? You ain't got to know what I, what I view on politics and I ain't got to know what you view. Only thing that matters is what we view about each other. Yeah. We ain't got to even worry about all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how I feel. Right. But anyway, uh, the next Number one. Number 12. Not, yeah. Cussing too much. Oh, yeah. Swearing too oh, much. Oh, yeah, now. Now, but see, the thing about that is you have to know when to do it. You, you, it's certain people, you can't be in a conservative spot cursing all the time. Yeah. And then when you around 
older people that's your senior, mm -hmm. you should know better not to be doing all that and stuff like that. So it, it comes with respecting, you know what I'm saying, the person, you know. Um, and then number 13, he or she is rude to your family. I never really thought about that, but that is true. What? Uh, that is true. Now, these are scientifically, is what the scientists say. These are things that make you immediately unattractive. And Rude that is my true. Because it, well, see, that's what they're saying. They ain't, ain't going to say unattractive. We just say it ain't, it's over. It's well, like, it's know. still unattractive, though, right? Because. More like a, I wouldn't even say unattractive. That's just a deal breaker. Well, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can still think she fine the motherfucker, but bitch, you, you out of line. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, but that that's just yeah, you're right. And then they say <laughs> and then they said number fourteen, being aggressive or too bossy. And that could yeah, that 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 yeah. that makes you unattractive. Yeah, it really that. does. Yeah. It, it yeah, that does. Too too aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then they got number fifteen. Being constantly negative. Oh, Ooh, Lord. I can't stand that. Man, now, I they, had a now, few they, of them. That should have been number one. I had a few of them women wide. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, it's like. That ain't the most worrisome. It oh. is. And it's like, have you ever been around somebody, y'all, that when you talking everything that uh, a subject come up or whatever, yeah. they have to be negative, negative. It's like, about it. And you like, damn, piss, there ain't no positivity in your life. That's a mystic like a motherfucker. Yes. It's just, yes. That shit get annoying and tiring quick. It does. <laughs> it really does. You know what I'm saying? So, That'll drain uh, you. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's show. Uh, I like that one there. Yeah. Number 16, chew with your mouth open or <laughs> smack. Or smacking. I do that all the time. Uh, smacking. Uh, <laughs> and uh, no table manners. And that, and that is true. Yeah. And I have to get on you sometimes about that because... It's, it's sometimes that you have to know when and where to, you know, now if you at the ch house by yourself or you chilling around somebody that don't mind it, yeah. but when you get around public and you, <laughs> and you like, what the hell, you know, that, and then it could be somebody that really like attracted to you and you don't even know it that's why they say sometimes it could be somebody that, like as soon as you walked in and they might be single or something and they like oh i'm really digging that person I was you know what I'm, saying? I was and I'm just saying like if somebody said oh i'm really digging that person right there you know yeah. and then everybody sit down and everybody's serving the plates and everything yeah. and then that person like oh yeah I, as soon as we get through eating i'm gonna approach that person because i like them whether it's a girl or a male and then you sit down you mm, 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 mm. they like oh no that's all right that's all right that's all right god ah, damn they cute as hell but they just fuck that up you know what i'm saying damn if they, like a whole damn they, alligator yeah mm, 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 mm. hey hey right, right, um, that that piece of cornbread over there you like a whole billy goat yeah uh-huh hey pass me that cornbread over there you want that then they give you that, you oh, be that, then people be looking like, nah, that's all right. Oh. I, I, I pass on that one. Like, I really was digging that person until they start eating. <laughs> till they started eating. Woo. But anyway, uh, number 17 is being immature, y'all. Being immature, oh, yeah. and that's, and that's true. Yeah. yeah, and number 18 is cockiness. Well, I'm about the game on Cock three. I got about three strikes on this motherfucker. <laughs> being confident, goddamn. Yeah, what was that? What else I had, goddamn? What else I had? The, the power pole and being cocky, goddamn. <laughs> but then number 19, y'all, is um when, when you can't put down your cell phone. And that's true. Oh, that's man. very unattractive, you know. I tell them over straight up. I, I, I done had not that many. I had maybe like once or twice in my life. I had to tell a woman straight up on a date, and I'd be like, you know, oh they uh, whatever. What I had said one time. You know what I mean, like? That was that was like was a uh, big dog. That was like uh, <laughs> I had uh, I had said did did, did uh. Damn, how did but I put anyway, it? Something about, that, like, you know, it's very just, important. Uh, like, you know, they, they, yeah. uh, somebody, somebody hurt they or something. They just won't put like down their phone. They was like, no, you you know? Like, no, no, no. I was like, they okay, just, well, I appreciate it if you, you right. know, focus on it. They were like, oh, I'm right. sorry. Well, you know, it's ways to do it without being rude, but it's just, 
Yeah, right. I don't like that either. But that's just it when somebody just constantly staying on their cell phone and their cell phone and they won't stop and you like, damn, what's what's going on? It's like y'all can't have a conversation with them being on telephone. Y'all can't have a decent dinner without them being on telephone. Y'all can't have a decent outing without them always on the telephone. It's like, damn, you know, so that is very unattractive, you know. Um then the next one is not well groomed. Uh, facial hairs looking all ragged just and nappy. Just take it. Yeah, and then well, unshaved legs. They say for females. Uh, not clipping nose hairs for males and females. Uh, the way your hair is, you know, for a male and female. That's why I had so, to chop my so, up, man. So it was just that. being unmanageable, man. Really? So well, I had to, had to come yeah, on well, back. that's well, that come that that back. that's it. And number twenty one, y'all, is being insecure. And um, oh. that's that's what that is, you know. And you I've been have on, a lot I, I've been on both ends of that. Yeah, I have. I've been the one chick. I've had two women in my life that was just. Ridiculous! Right, it just right. just it became damn near possessed. But then I I was I was on the end part before. Well, I was acting insecure, I guess. Right, you know? right. Yeah, but you have to realize you who just the hell you to, are, though. Yeah, you do. That's you where do. that confidence, new, new confidence that, level came and in. And that and that's what it. Yeah, being being insecure it plays a big problem. And that that was number twenty one. Number twenty two is sweaty armpit stains on your clothes. <laughs> you know, um, I used to have that problem when I was young. And that, yeah, but you know, sometimes no like you you know, some people just have that. Sometimes people could sit down and they could I be, was a hair they could be sweaty, and because I'd be like that sometimes, yeah. you know. So you have to just kind of yeah. play around with your deodorant, because some deodorants that yeah. will hold, yeah, all you know, yeah. if you are very, um, you, you just perspire a lot. Uh -huh. You always sweating. There are some. Uh, the don't get that gel. I'm gonna tell you that right that. now. Don't get no gel. Don't but get no clean stuff. But that's probably the one that make the stains on your on your. That too. Some whites. Armpits. Some whites do too. Some powders do too. But most of them gels make the stains, and they don't help if you sweat profusely yeah. like that. They don't. They, they don't ain't. They ain't. They, they ain't for you. No. No. You gotta get that powder. That dub. That swab. Yeah. But you, you do, it just depends your on your body, female or male, because females do it, and, and I do it sometimes. I don't even have to be moving, mm -hmm. and nothing, my face is not sweating or anything, it's just the arms. Mm -hmm. And so I have to buy kind of more of an expensive um, brand that, that soaks it in every time, mm -hmm. because I, you know, I had it, that, that, I'm, I'm, I'm always doing something or active. I'm always thinking because when you think a lot, you sweat. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's, it's basically when you're trying to get things together a lot, you sweat. Mm -hmm. You know, and you don't even, I ain't talking about you running up and down the block or nothing. You could just be sitting there and just start sweating. So, yeah. yeah. So, but, yeah, but having them up under the armpits, that big round spot stain, that ain't good. But anyway, um... Number 23 is constantly talking about their ex. That's a no-no. I'm trying to tell you. I can't stand that. I can't stand that. Uh-uh. I can't stand for nobody. Every time you turn around, they talking about their ex. Yeah. Once some exes, you know, oh, you know, my ex this, my ex that, my ex. Evidently, you're not over there. You know what I'm saying? So that is very unattractive. Yeah, so y'all be around people. Don't go bringing up your ex. I mean, you know, you could see some. Oh, yeah, uh, my ex had that. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, me and my ex had that. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, my ex do that, too. You know, uh, uh, don't nobody want to hear all that. You know, so that that was number 23. Number 24? Spitting constantly. Oh, I hate when somebody spitting all the time. Well, Lord if somebody if mercy. somebody if somebody uses that dip Ooh. tobacco chew stuff, you might well cut it out then. But see that that's but don't see that no, no but I'm saying a person know what they want because if, if if I'm attracted to somebody and I realize that they dip uh and they, they got the spit, I already know I could have been attracted to you but I'm not gonna take it any farther because mm -hmm. I know I can't deal with that. Mm -hmm. Now I can't deal with all that. And it just be some people that could just be talking to you and every sentence they and then they talk 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 then the next sentence. I'm like, why are you spitting so much? What is going what is going on? You might want to get that scene about because that is very unattractive. 
You know, it really is. I've known some people that every other sentence they have to spit. And if they outside, they could be talking around and they turn to and then they turn to damn, you're gonna spit the whole goddamn air everywhere yeah, we you're standing. Gonna be, you're gonna be dehydrated. Yeah, <laughs> everywhere we standing, you spitting. I don't even know where to step when I walk <laughs> off. You know, so uh-uh. But anyway, number twenty five, y'all, is picking your nose. Yeah, I can't stand that either. You know, when it's just some people that that's what they do. Uh, they pick their nose it's all childish. the time. <laughs> yeah, but some people, like I think, when they be thinking, they pick their nose, and that that's so that's so nasty. Because I, I have had where I was, you know, when I go into my stores that I'm managing or something, and it was a manager that when he thinking trying to do the schedule, he he go in his nose in a minute. I, hey, hey, man. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? No. Uh-uh. Because -uh. I got to sit at the same desk. I'm coming to visit your store. You know what I'm saying? So, no. You know, we gonna, it's a certain way you have to stop things, you know? So, um, Man, okay. but, but anyway, number 26 is racism. 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 And they said uh, that's very unattractive. Like, when you first meet a person, a person might not even know you're racist. But as soon as you open up your mouth and... You might say something, they be like, oh, shit, I didn't know they was racist. Mm -hmm. And then that'll just kill it. They don't even want to talk to you. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So that that is a good, and I really never thought about that until I saw it in the scientific thing. Now, the scientists were saying that's one of the biggest ones. Racism, it makes you unattractive because there's some people that don't even know. You ever say, like, I ain't even know they, like, you'll find out later, like, I ain't even know they was racist. They said some messed up stuff came out their mouth, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And then it just turned your whole attitude yeah, towards, towards that towards person, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And so that's what they were saying. So that was it, y'all, for um, things that make you instantly unattractive. But I'm going to tell y'all, fam. It's one that they didn't have on here that I feel I need to just add a 26 for the scientists. What? And that is when people blow their nose without tissue. I what? Don't, I don't see. <laughs> no, listen here. Now, I know now. He might not know what I'm talking about, but I know it's somebody on our... I know it's some, one of our prescribers, at least one of y'all that know somebody that do like this. <clears throat> and they don't use no tissue. They don't, I have seen that, I know about 50 times, so it's common, not, not from the same person. You know how we travel. I've seen this just about in every state I have traveled, different men, not women. Women don't do that. It be men, I ain't going to say women don't do that, I just haven't seen it. But I've just seen all men, they could be standing there talking and they're <clears throat> <laughs> and then I be like, uh-uh, oh, hey, I have time, I'm telling you, and that was one time, <laughs> no, it was one time I was very attractive to one guy, and I mean, we, and the good conversation was going on, everybody was on the inside of the restaurant, yeah. when we came outside the restaurant, everybody was still uh, having a last minute conversation before everybody jumped in their car, and he had gotten my card, my business card because he was gonna call me. Like yeah. I said, yeah. I was very tight. And when we was standing out there, and that joker said, hmm. I said, Oh, hey, I look for the card he gave me. His business card to tear it up right then. I'm not waiting till I get in the car to tear it up. I'm gonna tear it up in his face. That is, and then I was looking like, Ugh. I was like, Did he just damn why did he do that and mess the whole thing up? But I'm glad I seen it then because I'm telling you right now. You, let me in. you got to have tissue with you. And you don't want no tissue and you think uh, holding around tissue make you feminine. Get you a do-rag or do, get get a, get a, get some type of scarf or something. Because see, my granddaddy now, I know back in the day our older generation did that. I ain't going to tell no lie. Uh, back in the day, the 80 and 90 year old men, because you got to look at how, how their atmosphere was raised. They didn't have a lot and you know, you had... They, they didn't have so much to go get tissues and stuff like that. Now, I know about the older men doing that, but we're talking about uh, 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s. Y'all asses, y'all know y'all go get some tissue. Now, our granddaddies and great-granddaddies, they got an excuse because they couldn't get their hands on things like that. But our generation and your generation and below, y'all stop that shit. Y'all need to go find y'all some type of do-rag or some type of scarf or some type of rag and keep it with you. Because that is so unattractive to be, uh -huh. I ain't lying. That is, oh, hell no. Nah. I can't.
can't leave you in my kitchen. And what what I look like even be dealing with you and letting you go in and out my kitchen. I don't know what you got them doing. Oh hell now, looking like a crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> hell no. Hell and I'm like, did he think he really invisible? Like, did he really do that shit? Oh. You know what I'm saying? So uh-uh, yeah, so that ain't on the list, y'all, but I got the ad 27, and I'm asking the scientists if y'all run across this ad, that joker right there. Ad, ad blowing your nose without tissue on now. But anyway, anything else you got to say? Hell no. Okay, gain knowledge to prevent blockage, and we all know what that means. The more you know, the harder it is for anybody to block y'all from y'all goals and success. Bye-bye. Y'all have a nice one. Oh, my.